Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and it is time for our monthly roundup of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine for the month of January. Now, this is a monthly series that I do where we look at the data for the past month and compile it and then present it so that way we could kind of identify what would be the most profitable, kind of looking towards looking into the past to figure out the future, so to speak. Uh, looking at past trends and right now, you know, January hasn't been a bad month. Um, we've been sitting around this, you know, 30, 32,000 uh, mark for quite some time. But, you know, today's pretty green day. We've got Bitcoin around 35,000, uh, Ethereum pumping up to around 1450. So it's, it's doing pretty good and nobody can dispute that the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine right now is Ethereum, whether you're on AMD or NVIDIA. Now, I would like to say that if you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification to stay up to date. But we did switch it up from last year to this year. Last year, we had the RX 580 pitted up against the 1660 Ti. I felt those two cards would be the most common budget or the most common place GPUs that the at-home miner would utilize. Maybe not so much big size mining operations like in warehouse and whatnot. But this year... We're going to be using the 3060 Ti and the RX 5700 XT, both able to hash about the same as, as far as Ethereum uh, and around the same power draw. And I felt these two cards would be good to utilize since most people are upgrading their, their 580 rigs or 480 or 470s or whatever it may be to these later gen uh, GPUs. Now, of course, the big concern is availability availability for these GPUs are really hard to get and I completely understand but this is just the data that I want to present to you to help us you know outline you know what would be the most profitable uh, crypto to mine whether you're on AMD or Nvidia or you got mix rig or even both so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in to the data so for Nvidia we have the top 10 as Ethereum BitTube Cash Grin CT32 Firo or Zcoin that's been rebranded and even with the uh, attack that it had the 51% attack Firo has continued to stay up there Conflux, Eternity, Beam, Ravencoin, Veal and Swap now take note of the most of them that I mentioned because if we switch over to AMD we're seeing a common pattern here so we know Ethereum is king whether you're on AMD or Nvidia Nobody can dispute that, right? If we look at the 3060 Ti, Ethereum is at the top. And if we look at the RX 5700 XT, Ethereum's at the top. So as of late, Ethereum is king. Uh, but the top 10 for AMD are Ethereum, BitTube Cash, Ravencoin, Beam, Ethereum Classic, Grin, CT32, Mimblewimblecoin, CT31, Firo, Callisto, and Eternity. Now, Eternity has been making a strong push on both AMD and NVIDIA, which, you know, late last year, I believe at the beginning of 2020, Eternity was in the, the, the top 10, uh, but towards the end of 2020, it kind of fell off. So it's good to see Eternity making a push back in the crypto mining space. One of the concerns that many of you have is, well, what happens if we can't mine Ethereum anymore? With proof of stake on the horizon and a bunch of changes happening in the Ethereum community, I can understand that sentiment because once Ethereum is no longer mineable, what can we switch to? Because the next cryptocurrency down, it's a pretty big drop. For example, at least at time of filming right now, um, it's almost a $15 difference drop from Ethereum to Mumbo Wimblecoin. And that's the, the second highest, most profitable cryptocurrency to mine. And then if we look at the 3060 Ti, there is a almost $10 drop from Ethereum to the next highest coin, which is Conflux. And while Conflux is one of the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine, you won't see me mining on it because the way they treated the crypto mining community, it is profitable. You can still mine it. You can still get some decent gains on it. So good on you. Nothing else that I can put to that, uh, just other than the fact that... Uh, I, I wish they would have more respect towards crypto miners. Um, you know, same thing with Ethereum. Um, can't speak bad about the product because it's done so many great things, but we've been the backbone of the miners, have been the backbone of the uh, Ethereum network. 
and it feels uh, like eventually and the changes that they're coming out with is you know gonna you know cut us off right so they have upgraded to the new hotness and leaving the old model behind uh, unfortunately but we'll have to see how things go uh, ethereum uh, proof of stake may not be implemented till late this year or 2022 it may even get delayed further who's to say I can't give you an exact date but there's plenty of information and uh, good uh, people that provide updates on ethereum as a whole but it's green across the board it's doing pretty good if anything I would say if you have an AMD mixed rig or AMD and Nvidia two different rigs ethereum bittube cash grin ct32 eternity beam and raven coin are the six tokens or the six cryptocurrencies that you cannot go wrong with like any one of them uh, you know putting your rigs to mine you will be earning a profit uh, but we can certainly see that the network hash rate for ethereum is consistent and everybody is mining ethereum right now whether you're mining it directly which i showed you in a guide how to do uh, make sure to check that out in the description below or you're mining it via some type of mining pool where you get paid out in bitcoin ethereum is king at the moment but that's going to do it for me today um, as I mentioned before at the beginning of this video, if you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe. Do me a favor, hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Let me know what you're mining down below. Take care, guys.